Hello and welcome to another Blender 2.59 tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make an FPS game or a first-person shooter game. We'll be using the mouse look and many other things, many other scripts. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's go into the right view and Alt R and Alt G. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees. Uh, just position it how I am. And we should be good. <laughs> Scale the box on the Z axis to, and that'll be good. And before you do a lot of stuff, save it as FPS. Okay, now we go to camera view. Ah, uh, grab this on the Y axis just a little. Make sure that you see everything but the box. You do not want to see the box. Now, let's go to the game logic. And I put the, dis the script for mouse look in the description. Just paste it here and name this mouse look. Dot .py or python. Please do py because Python does not always work. Now we add a mouse sensor, name it mouse look, capital M and capital L, and just move me. That'll be good. And the Python controller named what well, well name whatever you want, but make the script mouse look.py and motion actuator aim it up down that's all for that sorry about that now go to camera view uh, shift a a plane scale it way up now go to camera not top. Camera view. Shift A. A UV sphere. Scale it down and play. You see nothing's happening. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, before we do anything else, like make the left right motion sensor, uh, actuator I mean, <coughs> add property, actually three properties. Adjust will be a float property invert will be a boolean property and cap will be an integer now make this 30 and 1.0 save this now we are going to Select the camera, no, the camera and the box. Let's give this a property. Name it player box. Now, with this box, you add a motion sensor named left, right. Connect that and view the camera. Control P. Play. And that is good. If you did that correctly, then good job. I know you, it's kind of confusing sometimes, but what are you going to do? Uh, only four minutes so far. It's probably going to be about a 15 minute tutorial. Now let's make this. Okay, so look. If 
it's true level triggering and when you move your mouse to the right it'll go right the camera will turn right same as everything else okay One minute. now when you if it's not true level triggering then when you go left it'll the camera will turn right personally I don't like that as much so I just leave it as true level triggering and that is just how I like to do it personally <clears throat> save uh, you can now delete that and I brought in a model of a gun I mean I I mean I modeled a gun already so let's just get that pistol pistol the UV texture on this is pretty good uh, <clears throat> grab scale it up that is way too small rotate on the z-axis 90 90 I always get that mixed up scale it just a little down Grab it to make sure that the center of it is in the front. I know that sounds a little confusing, but just do what I did. I'll show you why soon. <clears throat> now we did that. That's good. We need to parent that to the camera. So now. Oh, I made a mistake. That's better. If it isn't true level triggering, then it is opposite. And then it is normal. If it is, then it's opposite. I am sorry, Ben. I made a mistake. Now, append. Uh, this. I modeled this, you'll probably have to model it yourself and do a UV texture on it. I just don't have enough time to. I'm sorry if that annoys you, but now go to camera view, Alt Z. There is your pointer. Now select that and make the camera its parent. So now it moves wherever the gun and the uh, camera does. Now, <clears throat> now we add the UV sphere. Scale it down. And it will always go on the we're going to make the Z axis, and you won't understand why until later. Move to layer 2. And now select the uh, pointer. And when you click on the left button, it will edit object and add the object sphere. Let's just quickly rename that bullet. Good. Now, it'll add bullet. When you click play, and it's going backwards. Negative eight. Going to camera view, play, 
and you do not really want to see that. That'll just be so if you shoot something, it'll hit it and destroy it. Sorry about that. Um, now where were we? Append. Where is it? FPS, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me for. Okay. So that is all we will be doing for this tutorial. Believe it or not, we actually covered a lot. We shot and shoot now. In the next tutorial, we will probably cover the sound and what it looks like when it actually shoots, like the Big Bang. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.